How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Madden NFL 22 franchise rebuild. This is our final team! We rebuilt all 32 teams. After this video, we rebuilt all 32 teams. And it's going to be the Seattle Seahawks. So if you guys like the content that I've been putting out, leave a like on the video. Subscribe, not subscribe, and comment below for more videos. Check my social down below in the description. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what other games you want to see me play. I do have a variety of stuff on my channel. Check out my channel. You know, along with my other socials and stuff. Check out my channel. If you guys like any content, if there's any content you want me to see, games, leave it down in the comments below. With that being said, let's get on the Seattle Seahawks rebuild. Alright guys, so I've got the Seattle Seahawks locked and loaded into Madden NFL 22. Let's take a look at the roster that we have so far before I look to assess any moves that we want to make. So Russell Wilson, we want to keep him around obviously. Bobby Wagner, we've got Jamal Adams, DJ Metcalf. That's pretty good, okay. Did I see DJ? I meant DK. DK Metcalf, Donkey Kong Metcalf, uh, Tyler Lockett, Chris Carson, Dwayne Brown, Quandre Riggins, uh, Diggs. I, why do I say Riggins? Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. Michael Dixon, uh, Gabe Jackson, Carlos Dunlap, second, Jordan Brooks. You guys need a team, honestly. I don't need to read out the names, but uh, not too bad. There's some talent at the top, but... I don't know. We might need to look to make some moves, obviously. There's every pretty much every team in the NFL needs to make improvements on their line. But then again, there's really not that many guys on the line that are that good. So, uh, yeah. So, looking at the team, yeah, our line is kind of weak. Right tackle. You know what? Let's go with Mitchell Schwartz. Let's sign him to a contract. Might as well give him a one-year deal, even if he doesn't fit the scheme. Just because I can. And then uh, we need a right side linebacker. AJ Wright could trade for him or sign him. So I might just do that. Right, so I'm gonna take a look at some trades I can make. So uh, look at our draft pick situation. We don't have any first round picks. We have some second rounders, which is cool. Some fourth rounders, at least for this year. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can make a trade now to improve maybe either my center position, my left end, one of those team needs positions. So I'll see if I can make, must up a trade. Only do one and be able to do one at the deadline. All right, I did this deal with the Browns, Javion Clowney and J.C. Treader for my third, fourth, one of my th and one of my fourths and my fifth round pick. So that's the only trade I'm gonna make. We're gonna keep the team, rest of the team the way it is, and I'll see you guys at the midseason. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're currently four and three in our conference. Not too bad, but uh, the Niners are four and two. Interesting. Okay. Let's see the standings over here. So. 4-3 is not bad. We're taking 0-6 Jacksonville, so I, I would imagine we'll probably be 5-3, and three, hopefully. We should beat them. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to be able to tell since I don't really go week by week. But let's take a look at these stats. Kind of curious to see how everybody's doing here. So Russell Wilson, 13-10. Uh, and 10. That's not very good. Hopefully he can doesn't throw any more interceptions, get that passer rating up a little bit. But uh, other than that, it's okay. I oh, accidentally went back, didn't mean to. We do have the six Beth off in terms of total yards. So Chris Carson's doing pretty good. Uh, not too bad on the rush. We're not really gonna be rushing that much with uh, Wilson as my uh, quarterback. He likes to throw the ball a bit, but he also likes to scramble too. Uh, Lockett, Everett, Carson, Metcalf, and uh, uh, Dwayne Eskridge. I'm so kind of surprised that uh, Metcalf is not getting as many uh, looks, but eh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, the blocking, pretty good so far, it seems. Bobby Wagner, 46 tackles. KJ Wright, 46 tackles on side. Seven and a half sacks for Dunlop. Clowning with four and a half. I traded for him. That's not too bad. And we've got seven total interceptions of teams. You guys see, that's pretty good. Kicking, punting, and all that jazz. Special teams, kick, return, pop, return. Very good. Very, very good. So, Six in offense, that's pretty nice in terms of total offensive yards. That's that's doing pretty good. How's our defense looking? Seventh, not too bad. I'll take that. So hopefully we can kind of continue this trend. I'm going to see if there's any trades I can make. Oh, I'm only going to make one, and I'll probably just make the rest of my moves in the offseason. But if I don't make a trade, I'll just see you guys at the end of the season. Uh, but also, we're going to do negotiations. I forgot about that. I almost forgot about that. Uh, let's look at who we need to negotiate, actually. Uh, you know what? Honestly, the only person I'm going to try to resign is Jamal Adams now, and then I can just wait for the rest of these guys. So, Jamal Adams, if I can get you now, I'd be happy. Knowing the game, it's probably going to be like, no. Oh, he's actually happy. Okay. Jamal Adams, we got him back. I don't care about the rest of the guys. You can just wait till the offseason for them. 
All right, I ended up just simulating to the playoffs and making moves. So we went 10 and 7, not too bad. Taking on Dallas in the wild card, that's gonna be a tough matchup for us, you know, because they were 13 and 4. But you guys can see, oh no, they were 14 and 3, sorry, not 13 and 4. But you guys can see the standings, pretty good stuff here. You guys can pause and look, but we did make the playoffs. So that's nice to see. Uh, and you guys see the rest of the team. So 10 and 7, not too bad. You want to see the bracket? I'll show you guys the bracket. We are right there on the top. In the bottom, it's gonna be the Eagles against the Vikings. In case you guys are curious, you guys can pause. But let's look at the stats. I'm kind of curious to see what's going on over here. So stat-wise, uh, Russell Wilson. You know, I would like him to cut down the interceptions and turn those into TDs. Maybe like 35 and 10, 15. That would be too bad. But other than that, I mean, okay. Uh, Chris Carson had a good year rushing, so that's nice to see. DJ uh, DK Metcalf much better. Uh, the second half with the receiving yards, doing that skins. Okay, yeah, this is what I'd like to see. Pretty good from our receivers. Uh, the blocking, you guys can see for the most part, pretty good. Solid blocking, not bad. I will take that. Defense, not too bad. Uh, Total mass X for Dunlap and Clowney. That's nice to see. You guys can see the rest here. Beautiful. Uh, four interceptions from Jamal Adams. Glad I reset him. He's going to be a very good. 85 tackles. So, yeah, he had a good year. Good year, good year, good year. You guys see a lot, actually a lot of interceptions in the team, so that's nice to see. And um, yeah, punting, kicking, all that jazz. You can see that there. So, fourth offense. Nice. Total yards. Good to see. So, really good there. Uh, defensively, number three in terms of total yards. Cowboys, though, were above us. Third and second. So, maybe a tough matchup. It will be a tough matchup. Mahomes is the MVP. And McCarthy was coach of the year for the Cowboys. So, we're taking them on the Walker. This is a tough matchup. This is... This is tough, but you know, this is it's kind of the stuff that we this is what we have to deal with. So I'm just gonna simulate. Hopefully we win and advance the divisional championship. If not, then I'll just I'll be upset, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we actually beat the Cowboys. Wow, okay. We beat them 30-24. We're taking on Tampa Bay in the divisional playoff. Winner goes to the NFC Conference Championship. They're also really good. Can we beat them? We lost by three. Three points to the Buccaneers. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, still a pretty good season, but we do have a little bit of work to do. So let's uh, see who wins the Super Bowl and then go on to our offseason. So Super Bowl 56 has the Saints defeating the Browns with Dar uh, Darquise Denard uh, taking home the Super Bowl MVP. Justin Fields with the Bears, offensive rookie year, defensive rookie year, Cardinals, Zayvon Collins. Let's uh, head on off into the offseason. Money, but a lot of that has to probably go towards receive, signing some of these guys here, so I am curious. So Clowney's a free agent, Dwayne Brown. Uh, Mitchell Schwartz, I'd like to keep him around. AJ Wright, he had a good year, so we might want to keep him too. I'll try to throw, throw some contracts at these guys, see see what we can uh, see, see what I can make happen. All right, guys, so I was able to re-sign a lot of my guys here. I got both my tight ends back. Uh, I got uh, Rashad Penny back, I got uh, Dwayne Brown, and then Clowney back, but uh, Quandre Diggs, Schwartz, uh, I offered, and KJ Wright, those are the guys I offered. Did not want to sign back just yet, maybe we can re-sign them, who knows, but we're going to have some money in cap space, and we'll probably make some trades, so I'm going to advance next week, and uh, kind of see what we can uh, do going forward. All right, so I signed uh, Quan Short, defensive tackle. We also got Alex Kaepernick, our right guard. And then we got uh, Jawan Bentley to be another mid-linebacker because we need another one. So uh, I also offered Devonta Adams because I wanted another wide receiver. And he rejected, which is not that big of a deal, honestly. I'm fine with that because he's worth a lot of money. So I, do need to, I still need to get some cornerbacks, right tackle and left tackle. I might look to make some trades for those, but... Um, yeah, I'm going to see what's out here. Yeah, there's really nothing for left tackle that I like. Uh, our left tackle isn't even that bad, honestly. It can be a bit of brown. But uh, mainly right tackle. I would think I want to get back. Yeah. I mean, I could go after one of these guys, but I'd rather just try to trade for one. Um, defensive tackle, same thing. Um, you get, like, another one of those or a right outside linebacker. I mean, I could go for... KJ Wright, try to get him back, actually. He wasn't even that, he had a good year, so we might as well try to get him back. 
Uh, we'll give him like 5.45, 7 million on one year deal. That should be fine. And then I'll see if I can get a cornerback out here. Maybe like a Quan Williams. Just another guy to have on the team. And we'll give him like a two year deal. And uh, yeah, then I'll see if I can make a couple trades. All right, so I got Quan Williams uh, and KJ Wright. So there we go. I'm gonna try to trade for a right tackle now. All right, I traded my two second round picks, fourth round pick for O'Neal and Wanham. So I got a right tackle, I got another right end. Uh, probably not gonna really play, but just for more, more for depth purposes and maybe we can develop into something. Uh, I think that's the only trade I'm gonna make, honestly. Uh, for now, I'm probably making a debt with the line. Yeah, see, look, I'm clicking A on my X button, it's not working, so, and I don't feel like leaving the game. So I'll just let the CPU drop six, seven rounders and fill out the rest of my team, maybe. Uh, probably not. I, we don't have much cap, so I'll just see you guys at the start of next season. Okay, so it might be, I don't know how much better we actually got. Uh, if I'm, if I'm thinking about the moves that I made and who we've lost, who we got back in return. I think it kind of just neutralized itself out. I think we're about the same as we were last year. I'm not sure. We'll see. But if I take a look at the roster, Jamal Adams, Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf, Bobby Wagner, Chris Carson, Javon Clowney, Tyler Lockett, JC Treader, Michael Dixon, KJ Wright, Brian O'Neill, uh, Jordan Brooks, Will Disley, Quan Williams, Gerald Everett, Gabe Jackson, Jason Martin. I mean, it's a solid team. I mean, there's there's some good players here. I don't know how good we'll actually be. I'm going to simulate to the midseason. Maybe I'll make a move then, but uh, it says we're better than the Broncos. So I think over time that that overall will increase, but I don't know. Either way, let's just simulate to the midseason. I'll see you guys from there. Okay, we're terrible. We're 0 and 6. This is terrible. How are we Owen? Okay. Owen oh, 6. This is bad. Okay. Who's up for free agency, by the way? Uh, yeah, I want to resign Metcalf. Carson, Wag. Oh, God. A lot of good players are up for free agency. Okay. 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 I've got some few guys that I can negotiate. But, wow. We are god awful. Owen oh, 6. Yikes. 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 That's bad. That's really bad. I did not think we'd be that bad. I did not think we'd be that bad. Okay, well, I don't know why. That's really weird. Uh, Russell Wilson is terrible. What is this? This is not very good, Russell Wilson. This makes me want to trade you. Um, that's really bad. That's not good. Oh my, okay. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, he is not having a good year. Um, I mean, yeah, and these guys are going to be that great either. So our offense is absolutely trash. Uh, our defense, I don't think is even that bad. I mean, it doesn't look like it's that great either. But our offense looks like total garbage. So 27th offense, that's not very good. Um... And then our defense is up here. So that's not bad. But our offense being 27 is god-awful. Uh, trade. We're going to make a trade. Um, Got to make a trade now. I don't I, I don't even care what we trade for. Just need to make a trade. And if Wilson is terrible, like really, really bad, then I will trade, make a trade in the offseason. But I need, to make, I need to make some kind of move, though, now. Okay, I traded KJ Wright, my second and third round pick, for Melvin Gordon the third and D and uh, DJ Reed Jr. from the Dolphins. So get a running back, maybe that'll help us, and then the cornerback for the defense. Okay, guys, so we went six and eleven. We had a really bad season. I don't know what happened, why we were so bad, but you guys can see the playoff bracket. Corn Cardinals are in the bottom right corner, but yeah, we were six and eleven. Not very good whatsoever. And if I look at my stats, take a look at the team. Uh, oh, Wilson ended up doing okay in the second half of the year, but god dang. He had a horrible start to the season, which kind of dug us in a bad hole. If he had went 3-3, three and three, we would have been 9-8, and eight, and maybe we could have made the playoffs, or even 4-2. 1-4-2 would probably make the playoffs. So yeah, Melvin Gordon, Chris Carson. 
Could be a good uh, good duo, Rashad Penny, my third guy. Okay, um, DJ Metcalf, DK Metcalf was good. Uh, Dwayne Esprit was pretty good as well, yeah. So receiving is a lot better, blocking, not that great. Mm, it was okay though. Bobby Wagner leading my team in tackles, doing a sacks game as well. Not many sacks this year for my team, but it's okay. Uh, decent amount of interceptions though, that's good to see. Kicking, punting, and all that jazz. I mean, don't really care. Because we're gonna make the playoffs. Seventh offense though. Okay, so our offense did pick it up in the second half of the year, but very late, too late for that. And then our defense was not very good in the second half of the year, as we dipped near the bottom. So that's the bad. Okay. Awards. Who won the MVP? Mahomes, Coach of the Year, Kyle Shanahan. Let's just simulate. We got a lot of moves to do. We got a lot of work to do in the offseason if we want to win the Super Bowl. Because we got one more season. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. See you in the Super Bowl. Seven has the Jaguars beating the Panthers. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Joe Schobert, uh, Super Bowl MVP. You guys can see the awards. Uh, Washington's Rashawn Foster, quarterback. Uh, and uh, Rams, Jerry Rosendahl, offense rookie, defense rookie. Those are the rewards. Let's go on our third and final season. Okay, so we're going to sign uh, Puna Four, JC Treader, and DK Metcalf. We're going to have to try to re sign Chris Carson and Bobby Wagner in free agency. Definitely want to keep them around. Uh, and then the rest of these guys here, uh, whatever. We'll just replace them. They're not that important. Uh, we're going to have a lot of cap space, which is cool, but a lot of that's going to go towards re-signing my guys anyway, so let's just see if we can re-sign them. Alright guys, so very interesting uh, free agency that I did here. So Denzel Ward is hurt, but I wanted to sign him, because I think he'll end up being healthy by the time the start of the season comes, or close to it. So that's just another weapon on defense, so that's nice. We do get uh, Bobby Wagner back, which is cool as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna simulate another week just to see if we get the other guys that I signed. So Chris Carson rejected me, so I lose out Chris Carson. That's unfortunate. Uh, and uh, one more week, let's just simulate. Uh, I guess we had no one else. So that's a really, really unfortunate. However, we could make some trades. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I just traded my fourth fourth overall pick, second round pick, and third round pick, and we got back Ezekiel Elliott and Tyron Smith, so that's a big trade there, uh, and I'm going to see if I can make one more trade to try to get a free safety, because I need one, and, a, and I guess I need a right outside linebacker, I'm not really sure, uh, but I definitely need a free safety, because I don't have one, um, but yeah, this is... Uh, this is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is looking good. Yeah, I don't know if I have a right outside linebacker. I also don't have a good right end. I might need a better right end, too. Um, yeah, right outside linebacker is probably more of a priority, though. Slightly. I'll try to get a right outside linebacker. Uh, free safety and a right end. With 1.47 million. I might have to trade one of my players. Alright, traded Dwayne Brown to the 49ers. Just for a fifth round pick. Uh, which is fine. I'll, you know, clears up cap and we get a fifth round pick, which I can either use in trade or just have the CPU draft somebody. All right, last year I'm making, I guess, I'm just going to the CPU draft the rest of the people. So Gross Matos, Chin, and Hall from the Panthers, and we trade my first round pick in 2024. So I think that's the last we're going to make, guys, and I will see you guys at the start of next season. So in our third and final season, uh, we definitely have an interesting squad. I'm not really sure how good we're going to be. Uh, I think one move, if I'm going to make a move at the deadline, it's for a right outside linebacker. I probably need a better right outside linebacker. I might even need to make one now, honestly. But I think we got better. I'm not sure exactly how good we are. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, but if you look at the team, Ezekiel Elliott... Jamal Adams, DK Metcalf, Denzel Ward, Russell Wilson, Tyron Smith, Bobby Wagner, Javion Clowney, JC Treader, Jeremy Chin, Tyler Lockett, Michael Dickinson, uh, Melvin Gordon III, 
Brian O'Neill, Jordan Brooks, Will Disley, Gerald Everett. I mean, there's some talent on this team. There is some talent. You guys can see. There is some talent. Um, but I don't know how good we're actually going to be. Personally, I do think we have some weak spots on the team that probably need to be addressed sooner rather than later. Um, but if we take a look at the team, uh, probably need uh, an upgrade somewhere. Take with the improved team. Probably the right outside linebacker. Maybe even left guard. I'm not sure. I think left guard's okay. Right outside linebacker's a D. I probably should trade for a better right outside linebacker uh, before the season starts. I think I might even have my picks now. So I might as well just do that trade now. And I do have a little bit of cap space to maneuver with to make a trade. So I might as well just upgrade that now and then just keep the team the way it is for the rest of the season and just hope for the best. Trade with the Cowboys. First, second, third round pick. We get Parsons, and I also get C.D. Lamb. I wanted the C.D. Lamb. I wanted another player. So I knew they would accept the trade if I just did this, clearly. I overpaid. Do I care? No. I have no no more no more money. So I think that's the, the team's pretty much set. I think we'll be good. Hopefully, we won't start off on 1-6. But uh, I'm going to simulate, and I'll see you guys in midseason. We're 6-1. Okay, much better. This is kind of what I thought we would be. Uh, so yeah, this is good. You guys see the standings right here. I'm loading them up. So the Chiefs are six and one. We're six and one. So that's nice to see. Best record so far in the NFC. And you guys can see the standings for everybody else. So so far so good. Um, and I'm happy about that. I'm very very happy about that. And if I'm looking at the 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 stats, Russell Wilson's having a much better season, uh, which I figured he would. Uh, so he's doing better. Ezekiel Elliott, holy cow. Man, is Ezekiel Elliott really good? Maybe I should trade for Ezekiel Elliott more often. God damn, I should have done that. 814 yards already. He's rushed. 11 TDs. I got Melvin Gordon as my secondary, which is kind of crazy. So, and Penny's my third. So, I mean, that's, that's great. This is great. And he's my leading receiver. What? Okay. Okay. Elliott. All right. He's, he's broken too. Um, he, he, yeah, I mean, it's, him and McCaffrey just seem broken. I mean, Kamara's broken, too. Honestly. I mean, basically, running backs are broken in this game. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm happy with this. This is, this is very, very good. This is very, very good. So, the offense is obviously really good, probably near the top. The blocking is great as well, which is good. Because that's good for both running and throwing, obviously. You know, and, and um, defensively, you know, Clowney with nine sacks, five and a half for my rookie, Max Reed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Interceptions, only six of the, uh, five as a team. That's not too bad. Yeah, Bobby Wagner's carrying my defense. Uh, got kickers and punting and all that jazz. Yeah, so offense, number one. Not a surprise. I mean, we're doing good throwing and we're doing probably the best rushing that's not a surprise as well and we're near the top in throwing as well so very good in the defense i would expect us to be probably near the middle yeah about the middle so that's not bad i'll take that hopefully that can grow up a little bit but this is the team i'm not making any moves i'll see you guys at the end of the season team four we got a buy which is fantastic we got some players to upgrade so i'm going to do those upgrades right now we're gonna upgrade all of these guys to make sure that they're good set and the team is good so 13-4 got an injury return DK Metcalf was injured but he'll be back and available to play which is excellent and that is awesome so 13-4 and four, uh, that is pretty good and it was uh, not as good as the Chiefs though they were 16-1 and one, but hey I'll take 13-4 and four. it's very very good we still have a chance. Is anything could happen in this game, as you guys are well aware of. So, uh, oh, playoff bracket. Let's just show you guys that quickly. Here it is. In the bottom right corner are the 49ers, in case you guys were curious. They are in the bottom right corner. And uh, obviously, we have the bye. So, statistically speaking, I'm going to assume that we had the best, uh, one of the best offenses. We actually did have the best offense. Russell Wilson's throwing kind of went down in the second half this season. But he still was pretty good. So I can't... I, I, he was pretty decent. I mean, honestly, we have Ezekiel Elliott rushing for almost 1,900 yards and 22 TDs. And Melvin Gordon is your secondary. You're fine with that. I'm fine with it. 
I think he was good. And even Russell Wilson scrambled a bit too himself. Why not? Tyler Lockett with almost a thousand receiving yards, nine TDs. That's nice to see. You guys can see CD Lamb was good as well. DK Metcalf didn't really. Uh, I, mean, I guess he was hurt. He was hurt, also hurt. So, but he had seven TDs. So I guess when he's not hurt, hopefully he can stay healthy. He'll be pretty good. The blocking. Uh, Brian O'Neill is my weakest link. Eleven TDs allowed, but he also played the most downs. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, Wagner, 136 tackles, two interceptions. Not bad. Uh, 15 sacks for Clowney, delicious. Uh, Max Reed, eight and a half, six for Gross Matos, first of five. And you guys see, yeah, the defense was good. Uh, definitely the defense picked it up in the second half of the season, I'd say. So we were probably really good defensively. I'd say we were probably in the top 10, maybe even top five, honestly, in defense. Uh, probably top 10, though. But second in offense, that's good. And our defense is in the top 10. I think we were ninth. So that's good to see. Let's just see what it shows us. Might as well just wait an extra second or two. Ninth. Wow. Didn't even count. All right. Who won the awards? Ezekiel Elliott. MVP of the NFL. Let's go. We have the MVP. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. Urban Meyer, coach of the year. So we've got MVPs, Ezekiel Elliott. So let's simulate and see who we're taking on in the divisional playoff. All right. So in the divisional playoff round, the championship, we're taking on the 49ers who are 12 This is a tough matchup for us. But let's see if we can beat them. We have a guy returning from injury, Will Disley. So here we go. Can we beat them and go to the NFC? Conference Championship, please. Okay, we beat, we just snuck by the 49ers. Beat them by three. We have an injury, unfortunately. I don't know who it is. Please tell me it's not someone, ah, oh, it's Clowney. That's, ah, oh, that's tough. Oh, he's out for the year. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. Okay. That's bad for my defense. And we're taking on... Okay. Yeah, this could be bad. Okay. Let's hope we can beat the Saints. Hopefully we beat the Saints. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Okay. Well, that's it. We lost. Let's just see who wins the Super Bowl, I guess. Well, the Steelers beat the Saints, and we could have, that could have been us. We could have won the Super Bowl, but instead it's. We end on a Colin Kaepernick Super Bowl MVP. So my final rebuild that I ever did, or, or I'm doing. Well, that's not true. I'm doing a couple more, but still, like random ones. But like my final rebuild for my final team, like doing all 30 teams. The, this is what happens? Okay, I couldn't, I wouldn't have expected this. Well, Sharif Riley for the Broncos and Carlos Kinney for the Texans, rookies of the year. <sighs> so we couldn't get it done. Let's just close up the video. Well, guys, that was it. So we're all, we rebuilt all 32 teams. Pretty, to be honest, it's definitely a lot different. It's definitely a, very difficult to rebuild teams in the NFL. I'd say it's probably the hardest of all the games I've done. Um, we did make the playoffs a fair bit amount of times, I'd say with a lot of teams that I feel like you could you could argue teams that I won't even, won't sniff the playoffs, let alone win a Super Bowl. So, unfortunately, couldn't get it done with the Seahawks, but guys, there's, you know, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully enjoyed the content, hopefully you enjoyed the rebuilds. We'll still have a few more rebuilds from Madden. I'm going to be coming a lot more 2K, though, and soon to be NHL. So I haven't done NHL yet. That's going to be interesting, because I know the least about hockey uh, in terms of the other other sports. So, uh, And I have a couple ideas now that hockey's going to be out. So stay tuned for that. So Madden's just not over yet, guys. Uh, but I am taking a little bit of a break from it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Everyone enjoy the rest of your night, and see you soon.